So, you're thinking of moving here to Grand Central Park in Conroe, Texas? Well, sit tight and don't move, because in today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything you could possibly need to know about this awesome master plan neighborhood here in Conroe, Texas. I'm a resident here, and I absolutely love it, and I promise, by the end of today's video, you're gonna absolutely love it too. Let's get after it right now. So we're up here at the Amenity Center in Grand Central Park. And while I do wanna feature all the amazing amenities that you would expect from a master plan development, first off, I wanna to talk to you about the feature that drew me and my family here whenever we were looking to buy a couple years ago. And that's the fact that the history of this development actually goes back to 1943. All the land that you see here, 2,043 acres, was Camp Strake, a Boy Scout camp that existed for over 70 years. And what comes with that is tons of nature, amazing lakes, over five lakes, and tons and tons of hiking trails. You're also gonna see amazing tall pines that you're not gonna find in most of today's newer developments. One thing the developer did a great job of was preserving some of the original items from the Boy Scout camp. So you can see behind me, this is our community pavilion. We've got tons of awesome community events up here. And that was actually the original pavilion from the Boy Scout camp. Obviously, they've retrofitted it, made it more modern, added some fans so you're not dying in the Texas heat. But they've done a really good job of keeping the things that made this place so special, so special. So now that we've gotten that out of the way and I've told you one of my favorite things about the neighborhood, I am very excited to show you the amenity center. I do think when you're comparing it to other neighborhoods, it's probably the prettiest amenity center that I've seen. And I think that having everything up here in one spot makes it exceptionally convenient for you and the family. So follow me and we're gonna go take a look at what all this complex has to offer. So every neighborhood you're gonna look at, for the most part in this area, is gonna have a pool. But I promise you it doesn't have a pool like the one right behind me. This is a huge resort-style pool right up at the amenity center that they just recently completed here in Grand Central Park. And it has everything you can think of. It's got a lazy river, it's got multiple sun shelves, it's got a gradual beach I don't know what to call it, but it's a beach. And basically kids of all ages can have a place in a pool like this. And if you're not a kid or you don't have a family, it's great for you too. It's got two lap lanes. You can come up here, get your exercise and have a great time. If you're worried about it being too small for a community this size, have no fear. The capacity at this pool is 352 people, which I think is absolutely nuts. But I've seen it here in the summer. I've come up here with my family and it's never felt too crowded. If anything, it's the opposite. It feels super fun. You get to meet new friends, you get to see your friends, and there really is something at the pool for everybody. It's not all a bunch of young families up here. It's all walks of life. And if you're worried about it being too hot out, don't worry. We have the largest umbrellas in the entire world. They're like 30 feet across and you're not gonna get a sunburn if you don't want one. So even if it's 105 degrees, have no fear, you're still gonna get your use out of this swimming pool here in Grand Central Park. Let's take a look at the amenity center and see what else it has to offer. Okay, so we are at my favorite place here in Grand Central Park. This is our 13 acre amenity center. It's been recently completed this past summer and it has everything you could possibly ask for when looking for a neighborhood amenity center. Right behind me, you've got three acre paddle lake. They call it paddle lake because right below me here, you can actually check out kayaks as long as you're a resident of the neighborhood. They're free to rent, come out here, hang out with the family and kayak. And then right behind this lake, you have one of the original Camp Strake Lakes. There are five original Camp Strake Lakes out here, the largest of which is right behind Paddle Lake. It's called Grand Lake. 
and it's 88 acres, which is massive. So if you're a fisherman or an angler like myself, you're gonna love it out here because it's residents only fishing and that is an amazing bass fishing lake. And if 88 acres isn't enough for you, we've got 12 acre deer lake, we've got five acre little lake, and then we have another 10 acre lake just north of Grand Lake. So tons of awesome nature opportunities right here at the tip of your fingers and the amenity center is located right in the hub of all of it. So let's talk about the amenities. Right behind me, you've got our gym. So this gym is fantastic, it's brand new, and what's great about it is it's in the neighborhood and it's free to residents. It's covered in your HOA dues. So you've got the gym right here, right above it you have a flex space. Uh, the neighborhood puts on free yoga classes, fitness classes, they've got a neighborhood schedule and an email list and so you just sign up for whichever one you'd like to be part of, come on up here, show up and enjoy yourself a nice fitness class. So we're gonna take a look inside. I'm gonna show you what else this place has to offer. We're gonna check out the coffee bar. We're gonna check out the event space. And then if you'll follow me, we're gonna go check out a, a couple more features uh, regarding the nature out here in Grand Central Park. Come on. We've talked about all the awesome indoor amenities here at Grand Central Park, but I think the coolest component of living out here is the outdoor component, the nature component. It's all the cool things that they took from the Boy Scout camp and repurposed here in this awesome development. And so right behind me is the Grandeur. It's the trail I was just running on, and it is an awesome family trail. It's crushed gravel, so it's not just your average neighborhood sidewalk, and it goes through the pine trees and along the lakes out here. And so it really is the best way to exercise and be, be one with nature. It's perfect for pushing a stroller, and it's also awesome for mountain biking. So it really is the perfect trail system for anybody uh, out here looking to not be stuck indoors and have a great time. Now I'm gonna go get cleaned up, and if you'll follow me over to the model homes, I'm gonna show you just what your dollar can get you here in Grand Central Park. So we're here at the model home park in Grand Central Park, and behind me, you have 10 out of the 12 model homes that are out here. And it's gonna give you a really good idea of the different size homes that you have out here and the different price points that we have out here. So if you wanna start on the lowest, least expensive home out here, you're looking at just under $300,000. And that's gonna put you in a townhome product. There are a couple builders out here that are still building the townhomes. And then once you bump up to just your standard single family housing, you're gonna be in the mid 300s. And those are gonna take you all the way up to some of our biggest lots that they're going to release here shortly. And those homes will probably be pushing a million dollars. What I think is really, important about having a wide range of prices in a community like this is the fact that you're going to have consistent equity gains. So for example, if you go and buy in a different development where just the builders developing that neighborhood, I'm not saying it's a bad call, but I think that you're going to have your equity in your home protected more when there's a wider range of price points, when there's a wider range of size of homes, and it's just going to help pull the value of your home up over time. Right now, we're about halfway through development. The development out here should probably continue until about 2026. And it is market-driven development, which means that the developer has all this land, they've used about half of it, and depending on what the market conditions are, that dictates what they're going to build. So because the market's been so great lately, they're building nicer houses and that's better for everybody. So you've got a ton of amenities right up at the front of the neighborhood that are commercial developments. You've got big anchor tenants that we'll go check out here in a little bit. But as far as housing goes, you can get in anywhere from the 300 to a million range. So there really is something perfect for everybody. <clears throat> Another thing that I think really hits on that is it is a multi-generational neighborhood. Uh, it's not just a bunch of starter homes. And so my family, for example, moved out here years ago and we bought a townhome. And it was just my wife and I, and we were relocating back to the area. We grew up here, but we were moving back and we thought that the townhome would be the best option for us. 
but without having to move neighborhoods and leave all the awesome friends we made, we got the opportunity to build a more custom home that we absolutely love. We moved into it a few months ago and we couldn't be happier. And that's more of a 10, 15 year home, a place now that we have children, we can raise them. And so really there is something out here for everybody. So let's go take a look inside and see what your money can get you here and see which one you gravitate towards. So we're actually in the model home of the builder that I chose to build my house out here in Grand Central Park. I absolutely love them. We're really happy with what they were able to offer us. They offer tons of different floor plans. They build your really large two-story family homes as well as this gorgeous one-story. Uh, everyone that I take in here falls in love immediately. You've got everything, awesome range, open floor plan, gigantic kitchen island that can seat the entire family. You've got a farmhouse sink, double oven. I mean, really, what more could you ask for? You've got real wood floors, which I have these in my house, and I have to tell you, they're the prettiest floors I've seen in any home. I'll show $4 million houses. These floors are in those houses. So to be able to get those in this price point out here, you can't beat it. All their homes are gonna come with these awesome tray ceilings. I think it, it gives really good dimension to the house, kind of gives it an extra little pop. And then of course, I always recommend an accent wall, give it a little bit of color. This builder probably has some of the best bathrooms out here. So for those of you that are tub people, I'm not, but I have one of these in my bathroom and I'll tell you what, it looks great and I'm sure it's awesome for taking baths. So. You got dual closets in a lot of the homes out here whenever you start bumping up into the higher price points. But it's so nice to be able to have two closets. That way she's not taking all your room in the closet. So we're at another one of the builders here in Grand Central Park. This builder is gonna be right in the middle of the price range out here, as well as the size range too. So you're out of the townhomes, you're in a single family home, and they're gonna range anywhere on the small side from about 2,000 square feet all the way up to the larger big two stories uh, for about 3,100 square feet. And so that's gonna be right in the price range of the 350 to 400 and $500,000 range. So one thing that I love about this home that my mother-in-law also loves about this home because she lives in one of them is that it comes standard with luxury vinyl plank. So when she was moving from Florida to come be closer to her grandchildren, kind of downsizing, she walked in this home, immediately loved it. She said, how much for these floors? And they said, it comes standard and she was sold. And this home's got a lot of other awesome features. A lot of the homes are gonna have these very similar kind of open concepts. And one thing that you need to know when looking at the different builders out here is they range in sizes. And the way that they do that is they'll say, hey, it's a 45 foot product, or hey, it's a 60 foot product. And what that means is that from the front of the lot, you're, you're measuring the width. And whenever you do that, it's gonna dictate what type of house they can build on it. And really it's gonna dictate what type of floor plan they can design on it. Because if you're stuck with just 45 feet, they've gotta have five feet of wiggle room on both sides that they can't build on. Which means no matter what the architect does with his pen and paper, you're only gonna get a 35 foot wide home. Which means you can't get these kind of spread out living rooms, these spread out ranch style homes. And so as we go from builder to builder, you'll see which one fits you best. I typically see that around the 50 foot wide mark, which, which makes the house 40 feet wide, you start to open up the house a little bit more. And then obviously as you work your way up into those larger 60, 65, we even have an 80 foot product coming out here, you're gonna be able to build really whatever the heck you want. So tons of options. Let's go check out the townhomes and see kind of how they feel. We are in a townhome. And this townhome is gonna be a great example of what the different townhomes out here actually look like. There's a couple different builders for townhomes out here, but for the most part, they're all gonna have the same layouts, similar size and similar features. And I wouldn't underestimate the features that go into these townhomes. Uh, just because they're on the lower price side of things out here, you're gonna get some of the same exact finishings in these townhomes as you're gonna get in some of the higher priced point single family homes. You've got these awesome farmhouse sinks that come standard. You're getting the same appliances that you're gonna put in those four, five, six $600,000 homes. 
but you're not paying for it. And so the townhome layouts typically are gonna be everything uh, as far as kitchen and living goes is gonna be downstairs. And then all your bedrooms are gonna be upstairs. Now, whenever my wife and I moved out to Grand Central Park, we actually bought one of these townhomes with this builder and we really loved it. And some of the things that you might think you wouldn't like about the townhome are what ended up being our favorite parts. So one of those would be the fact that there's twice as many neighbors packed onto the same street. Because the way the townhomes are built is there's one structure, but there's two units attached to each other. We never had any issues with the noise, which we were very surprised to buy over the course of three years living in a townhome. You would think you would hear your neighbors at some point, really had no issues with that at all. And what was really great was the sense of community that came from being in that product is when you have twice as many people, you're twice as likely to like your neighbors, you're also twice as likely to hate your neighbors, but we luckily didn't have that experience. And so I hope this gives you guys a really good idea of the different stages of life that you can go through and stay in the same neighborhood. You know, we lived in this town home and then we built a new home that we could grow into with our family. We didn't have to leave. We still have all the same friends and we're where we really truly love to be. So follow me, we're gonna go a quick golf cart ride up to the front of the neighborhood and we're gonna show you all the new amenities that are just a golf cart ride away. Hi, thank you for choosing Sir Ramon Conroe. How can I help you today? Hey there, could I get a double shot of espresso and a cup of water please? Yeah, yes sir, Mr. Kyler. We'll take care of you up to the front window. Cool, thank you. Yes sir and they know me by name. That's what I'm talking about. So that's really the coolest part about being in this neighborhood is that every single day, Hi, hey there. Tyler, yeah, you good, how are y'all? Good, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. And there's that for you. Cool. Okay, and then All right, cool, thank y'all. Thank you, have a good day. You too. So it's super convenient. Come up here to Summer Moon Coffee. This is actually a coffee shop that originated in Austin and so, the development up here is attracting some really, really, really cool stuff. So let's drive around, let's check some of it out. You've got large anchor tenant grocery store Kroger Marketplace over there. You've got tons of restaurants coming in like Salada, Torchy's Tacos, and then you've got local businesses like Hand and Stone Massage. You've got some dentistry places coming in up here. And so really, People from all over Conroe come to the front of my neighborhood to shop and, and do everything, to eat. Uh, and so really there's not a better location in my opinion in Conroe to live and you get a new house here in Grand Central Park. So we're right up here along I-45, which is the major freeway that runs from Houston to Dallas. And they are building out a really cool and unique retail experience up here. The developer is called Marcel. They're the ones that purchased this land. And as you can see behind me, this space for lease, it's almost completed. And it's about to fill up with tons of cool shops, restaurants, and all of this like we said, is a golf cart right away. So it's really unique. And some of the local business owners actually live in the community. So it's, it's really cool. Everyone knows each other here. It provides like a really safe, family-friendly environment that you experience maybe growing up. And I feel like in today's society, we've kind of lost touch of that. So that's really cool. It's all up here at the front of the neighborhood. And we're gonna go now to check out Sam Houston's Medical School, which is actually located right up at the front of the neighborhood. So right behind me is the Sam Houston Medical School. They're still doing a little bit of construction, so we're gonna get out of here and tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, now that we're away from the noise, the Sam Houston Medical School is right up at the front of the neighborhood. It is a full-scale medical school. There's already medical students in there taking classes, uh, getting their MDs. And so a lot of them actually live here in the neighborhood, the students and the faculty. So a really cool feature to have right here in Grand Central Park. If you look over here to the right, they're actually building Conroe's Hotel and Convention Center, which is going to host tons of events. It's gonna be a really cool draw here to the community. And whenever they build stuff like that, it typically tends to just add to the overall development. So we think it's a really cool feature here and we're excited to see it here in the near future. So as we head back to the amenity center, there is one thing that I wanna talk about as far as the location of Grand Central Park. 
To me, it really is one of the best locations in the whole Conroe Woodlands area. Because you're right along I-45, you're actually only about nine minutes from the Woodlands Mall, the waterway, all those super cool features. And so while you're getting this nice new home here in Conroe, it doesn't really feel like you're all that far from the woodlands and all the dining experience that are offered there. In fact, you're probably closer to a lot of them than if you lived in the back of the woodlands and you got stuck in traffic. And so you really get the best of all worlds. You get a new construction home, you get brand new amenities, you get the nature component that people move to the woodlands for, but you get a little bit lower price point uh, and you get all the conveniences of the woodlands without having to necessarily pay for it. And you're also closer to Lake Conroe, which is one of the things that I really like about this location. So we're back at the amenity center and we're gonna talk to you a little bit about the community here. So we're back up at the amenity center and I can't tell you enough how much I love this place, but I do have to come clean. I think I lied to y'all. I've told you on multiple occasions, this is my favorite thing or that's my favorite thing. But when I really think about it, my true favorite thing about living in Grand Central Park is the sense of community. And it's, it's not accidental, it's actually very intentional. And it's intentional because when the developer set out to build Grand Central Park, they hired a full-time staff member and their title is the Director of Fun. And our Director of Fun here, she is fantastic. Uh, she's a great friend of mine and she plans over 50 events per year for all the residents in the neighborhood. Anything you can think of, you name it, we have it up here. Right behind me is the community pavilion where a lot of these events are hosted. And so you'll get anything from Christmas time making gingerbread houses with the kids to St. Patrick's Day. We'll have a full block party here, live band, music, all of it's included in your HOA dues, which are exceptionally low considering everything that this neighborhood has to offer. Your HOA dues are just over a thousand bucks a year and that gives you access to everything. It gives you access to the pool, it gives you access to the playground, to all the nature and to the events. And some of these events you would not believe are in a neighborhood like this. There'll be 200 people, an open bar, for Christmas we had Santa, the Grinch, a train came through here for all of the kids and every single week we look forward to the new event where we can link back up here, see our old friends, meet new friends, and really continue to foster that sense of community that I feel like has unfortunately died in our society. I don't see it a lot in some of these other neighborhoods, so it really is my favorite part about living out here. So now that you've seen everything there is here to offer in Grand Central Park, and you're thinking about moving out here, I wanna encourage you to do one more thing, and that is make sure that before you come out here to the models and you start this home search, make sure you get an expert's opinion. Get somebody that's really gonna represent your best interests. So I don't care if that's somebody else, we would love for it to be our team here because we live out here and we know the area so well, but you deserve representation. And these builders are awesome out here. The salespeople are fantastic. I have nothing but great things to say about them, but you do need to realize that at the end of the day, Builder salespeople work for the builder and you have the right to have somebody work for you. And that's where realtors come in. That's where my team and I, we step in and we're your advocate every step of the way so, there's, so that there's no misunderstandings. Yeah, sure, you can walk in and buy a house without a realtor. Nobody's trying to tell you that you can't, but at the end of the day, you're most likely going to get the best deal and know that what the builder is telling you is true if you're working with a professional that already has an established relationship with that builder. You can take a deep breath, rest assured that if your tile goes in wrong or something's wrong with the roof or something comes up on inspections, you've got an advocate in your corner that's gonna help get you to the finish line and ultimately get you where I'm at here today as a very happy, excited resident of Grand Central Park. So I hope you guys love this video. Once again, subscribe to the channel, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about everything going on here in the Houston area. We look forward to seeing you guys in our next video.